Hey everyone, and welcome to the latest episode for Eve Echoes. If you're not fully up to date with what's going on with this channel, my uh, Pixel 2 recently died. I say died, it still technically works, it just can't do anything that a phone can do. So uh, if you haven't checked out that video already, feel free to go and check out that video where I just rant for about 8 minutes straight about uh, smartphones. <laughs> it's not at all Eve Echoes related, that video, but feel free to go check it out. But for this video, we're going to be talking about the economy in Eve Echoes. This is part of the fortnightly series whereby whenever the market gets updated and we can see the most recent average prices, we just take a look at them and see where exactly the market is going. And yeah, we just try to gauge based on what limited information we have for Eve Echoes market where things are going. So... Yeah, before I get into the meat and potatoes of this video, feel free to hit that like and subscribe button as we slowly mince our way towards 1000. And yeah, let's have a look at what's going on, shall we, in Eve Echoes. So let's start off with the raw stats. And we're just going to... I really should have prepared this bit a little bit better. It at least got into the position I needed to be in. So as we can see, ignore week 20 and 22 because they're the same as the weeks before them. But... If we have a look at the numbers that we have at the moment, feel free to pause this if you want to have a look at your specific PI and figure out which one is going up and down in value, you know, which ones might be the most relevant to you. And if you're curious, these numbers have come from the Mobi API. You can tie in the Mobi API into a uh, database for your PI production if you so choose to uh, be able to figure out what the most valuable planets and PI are in your area. There is a spreadsheet up out in the wild from when the game first released, whereby it has all of the PI data in it that you want. Back in the day, I would just cut out everything except the constellation I had an outpost in, throw in the relevant market data at the time because we've had various different APIs. And uh, at one point, I just plugged in the data manually, just typed them as I saw them on screen. And yeah, every couple of weeks, maybe every month, I'd change up my PI just to make sure I was as profitable as possible. I'm just saying all of this because there was a few comments in the last video asking if people could have something like that, but it's impossible for me to do one for every single player in the game without the spreadsheet crashing under the sheer weight of all of that data that was in the original sheet. But uh, yeah, I thought it was worth bringing up. But as we can see, these are all of the prices. I'm not going to be going through them on a granular basis because, again, I'd lose my voice. I'd lose my voice and I'd really enjoy doing these videos. In fact, I'm already losing my voice a little bit from just doing that last video. I'm just going to bring the microphone a little bit closer. Hopefully, I don't have to talk as loud. That said, I have to actually remember not to talk as loud. The joys of doing content on YouTube, eh? So anyway... Now that you've had a good look at all of the more fine-tuned information, let's have a look at the totals. This is where we do all of our speculation. So we're going to start off with Morphite. Morphite represents capital ship production because only capital ships consume Morphite. So if Morphite goes up or down, then that suggests that there's less or more demand for capital ships. In this case, Morphite... It's gone down minus 6.16 percent it's gone down quite significantly so there has been a drop off in the demand for capitals now is this just because everybody said i'm not getting a capital anymore i want a titan and they're all just waiting for titans in boxes i know netty said in the most recent q a that uh, titans aren't coming at all that they've got to put other things in place but you have to bear in mind that that Q&A was around about the same time that this price will have been published. People wouldn't have known that was NetEase's stance up until that point. So maybe people just stopped buying capital ships because they were hoping to get a Titan in a box. I, I can only guess that. I can only guess that's, that's what's going on. Again, if you're a capital ship or if, if you're a pilot that wanted a capital ship, and then decided against it, let me know why, because you've probably got a better idea as to what's going on than I do. But as it stands, capital ship production looks like it's probably going down based on these numbers. It's either that, or people have been mining the hell out of Morphite and there's simply too much on the market. 
that could also be the case. Again, without more granular detail, we just don't know these things. In, at a certain point, I will try to get more granular data off of the marketplace, maybe through Moby or by just going at it manually. But I need the time to do that first. <laughs> but hey-ho, let's move on. So, yeah. All, min all minerals, planetary cobalt, planetary ships, planetary structures. It's not just capital ships, is it? Everything is going down. Everything is going down. It's like there's nothing left in the game to build. So all minerals have gone down by even more than more fight has. Planetary ships has gone down by a fair bit. Planetary cobalt has gone down even more. And then planetary structures has gone down. Production for everything has gone down. And it's not gone down by quite as much as it went up in the previous video. But it is still significant. It is still significant. Is it possible? And I know Benzi used to call this the Benzi effect. And there's no way in hell that this channel is big enough to cause the Benzi effect. But um, it does make you wonder. Did so many people see that mining had gone up in value and PI had gone up in value? That they actually ended up producing more? Now, I know with PI it's a little bit more difficult to produce more because it's at a fixed rate. Maybe they uh, rebuilt their network of outposts, not outposts, you know what I mean. Maybe they redistributed their planetary extractors to get the most that they could out of their constellation and pivoted towards the good ones. And maybe that brought down the prices again because of oversupply. And the same with mining, maybe a ton of people went out mining because it's suddenly a golden goose. I don't know. I don't know. Let, let me know what you think. Did you start mining over the past two weeks because of it going up in quite a significant amount? I'm just going to have to move my microphone away from me a little bit. It's in the way of my mouse. So let's have a look. Let's have a look at the trends here. Let's have a look at the trends. Is it a quick recovery? Is it been going down quite a bit? Let's have a look. Here we have our chart with all of the lovely weekly figures on it. And yeah, it is quite interesting what's going on here. So I've already skipped past Plex. We all know Plex is going up. It's gone up by quite a significant amount. In fact, if I just go to the raw figure ever so quickly, it's actually gone... Oh, hello. Hold on. The formula has not actually carried across for a few weeks. So there we go. We have the formula. Plex has gone up by 6.38%. I was a bit lazy with that, apparently. But yeah, Plex has gone up by even more than it went up the previous time. So, yeah, it's not it's not slowing down. NetEase, whatever you're doing to tame Plex prices, is clearly not working. It's actually speeding up. This is the fastest that Plex has gone up since I started this video series. And I started this video series around the time uh, people at NetEase announced that they were going to tackle the Plex crisis. I, they didn't use the words Plex crisis, but uh, it might as well be. So, yeah, let, let, let's go back to the averages. Let's just, let's go back to the statistics and not look at Plex because that's going to depress some people. So, yeah, as we can see, downward trend. It did hit a bit of a peak. We haven't seen planetary ships and planetary cobalts this high particularly often have we let's have a look so 185 total here and over here 196 okay so since week 11 so what 13 weeks ago the values haven't been this high they haven't been this high for a while it's not a constant downward trend thankfully and it's not a constant upward trend otherwise we'd have a bubble ready to burst um, it is unfortunate to see that mining is definitely nowhere near its glory days. It's definitely nowhere it's near its glory days. Let's have a look. So all minerals back in week 16 were worth 30 million combined. Now you're talking 23. That's quite significant. What are we talking there? 7 times 3s. We're talking what? 21, 25% somewhere around that value. It, it's not worth as much as it used to be. Going down to planetary structures this is just all the more reason to never invest in planetary structures if you want to set up 
your PI setup unless your particular constellation only has good materials for uh, structure building. Just go with shipbuilding. It's shipbuilding has its ups and its downs, but with structure building so far since this video series started it's only had its downs so it, it, if you were to ask me hail what what should i focus on for doing pi ship building if you don't want to mess around with spreadsheets and stuff just ship building is probably the safest bet just make sure you pick stuff that are rich yeah and ask one of your guys in your corp to set up a spreadsheet for you if that's not your thing. But yeah, it, it would be nice to see some of these values starting to go back up again. Because the, there are people that, let's say with planetary materials, like, it, this is hard to explain, but way back when, way back when, before we had AI ratting, Plex would move in perfect tandem with the value of your planetary materials so as plex went up so did the value of your planetary materials and if you had a null sec setup you didn't even have to have an outpost if you were established in null sec with 554 planetary materials and you kept on top of the market and you followed the market trends and you changed up your array every month or so you could make enough isk from selling off all of the pi that you made in null sec just, just alone to cover basic Omega because there was a perfect correlation between the two way back when. Now the correlation is kind of opposite. You've got Plex just like going constantly up. I should be, there we go. I should be doing it like this just so it's reversed for the camera. But you've got Plex constantly going up and Planetary Materials for a while was going up quite considerably. Taylor Rick made a point of saying it pretty much on every episode of the Echoes and New Eden podcast. But it doesn't do that anymore. It's kind of settled in its new position. It goes up and it goes down, it goes up and it goes down. But as we can see on the graph, it's just most, for the most part, it's just settled. It's not really going anywhere. But anyway, that is today's video. That is the today's report on the Eve Echoes Marketplace. Yeah, um, shall we finish it off by just having a quick look in-game at Plex prices? So, yeah, because the in-game average gives us just exactly that, the average over the past two weeks' worth of transactions. I never actually, in these videos, look at what Plex is actually worth in the here and now. So let's do that. Let's have a look at the here and now and depress a few people. So, of course... As we noted back on the spreadsheet, Plex is currently going as an average over the past two weeks for 10.6 million ISK. A little bit more than that, but 10.6 just to round it off. At the moment, at the on the in-game market, at this point in time that I am looking at the in-game market, we're looking at 11.2, coming up on 11.3. It's not going down. It is most definitely not going down. And... This can be a good thing for some people, but if you want to grow the game and if you're trying to market the game as a free to play game, which by technicality alone, and I say alone because it is only free to play by technicality, it can be considered a free to play, but to, for it to truly be free to play, Plex prices need to get back under control if we're going to actually be more appealing to free to play players, because you need that hook. Once a free-to-play player, let's say your free-to-play player is, uh, I don't know, 16. They've just finished school. They don't have a job yet. And they've just started out the game. If you can keep them hooked as a free-to-play player for six months, long enough for them to have their own job, to have a bit of disposable income, the, the once... They've been playing the game six months and they're like, you know what, I've got a job now. I don't have the time to put into this game to be able to maintain Omega, but I have the money. I, I can just put that money into the game and then you've got a new paying customer. It's, it's like a trial period, but this trial period is kind of dependent on Plex prices actually being reasonable. 
and it's, it's just not going to happen for quite a while by the looks of it, is it? But anyway, that's just me rambling about the Eve Echoes market, which I tend to do once every two weeks. I guess it's a good way to uh, just keep the content rolling out. But I'm going to cut the ramble there. Feel free to hit that like and subscribe button if you want to do so. And if you've got any stories you want to share about what's been going on with your own mobile device recently, maybe it's been acting like it's been possessed, or maybe you're proud that it's lasted so long, or it spectacularly went up in a ball of flames or something random and bizarre. If that's the case, check out my other video, the one that I released today that I'm recording it, but yesterday in, with regards to when the videos go live. Go ahead over to that video and um, just let me know your experiences with mobile phones when you've been changing over from one to another. Just keeps things spicy, changes up the topic a little bit. I'm trying to do new things with this channel, as you might have seen. But anyway, until the next video, everyone, fly casual. Yeah, yeah, fly casual. <laughs> and just have a brew. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs>